What is up, guys? Ryan here from CRKT. Got my main man, Kurt, next to me. What's up, man? What's up, Kurt? Dude, I'm doing good. Good. What are we gonna do? We're gonna talk knives. What's up, guys? I had to take the reins back from Ryan. He was getting a little out of control. But we have Ryan from CRKT. What's up, man? What's up, Kurt? Dude. I'm sorry, I jumped the gun there. No, My bad. I'm just excited to be here. It's okay. I understand. Okay. Totally get it. So Ryan has a bunch of new stuff that's coming out for their mid-year release. So Yeah, so we're calling it 2022 preview. 2022 preview. <laughs> I like that, actually. I like yeah, that. Thank you. So, I came up with it. Um, I'm kind of feeling like we should just jump right into it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm so excited about this first one. This one's great. The people have been asking and we have delivered with the Compact Provoke. So you have a sample yes, over there as I well. Have. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so uh, what we did is, if you, can, if you can see the comparison here between the original, uh, this is about three quarters of an inch smaller. It's also thinner as well. Same kinematic mechanism. So push down for deployment, like butter. And also, you have some fairly large hands, my friend. Okay, so I was actually noticing this, guys, um, when he first handed this to me and I I launched it open. I was like, holy crap, my big fat hand doesn't even go down all the way on the blade. Like, it legit stops at the handle and I still have enough for the pivot and the, the choil. Dude, this is a great size. Plus, playing with the original Provoke, I... I already know that size and feel in my hand. And this is definitely slimmer. It feels slimmer. Definitely slimmer. So you can see here the comparison. Um, still D2 blade steel. Also, what I really love about this model is this stone wash on the compact version. I was gonna it's kind say. of a deeper stone wash. Right. Yeah. It's not like a I think you mean deeper, like it's not just a surface stone wash. Correct. It's like Correct. you can tell it's embedded down in. Yep, and then it has uh, metallic OD green right here on the handle. That's cool. And so it's gonna have that cool contrast. Really neat colorway. Caswell is over the moon. Uh, we had a call with him a couple weeks ago and uh, he was like, how did you guys, like, it's literally just shrunk the original down. It's by amazing. three quarters of an inch. Made it a little thinner, a little bit easier to carry. Also, we made the um, the clip on the back, it expands, it has a look, a little bit easier to slide oh, it in yeah. and out of the pocket. So when you push down, it, it raises a little bit more than the right. original. So that was some feedback that we got back from the community yeah, as well. easier to put in your pocket. Exactly. Yeah, that, that makes it a lot nicer. Yeah. It really does, it comes up almost double. Yeah, seriously. That's cool. Yep. So this is Provoke Compact. Provoke Compact, man. And I gotta be honest, uh, when you told me the color, what was it again? Metallic OD green. Metallic OD green, guys. This, <laughs> at first, I was like, oh, cool. It's like a gunmetal. And, you know, but when you're looking at it up close, we'll get we'll get some B-roll so you guys see yeah. it up close. But it's definitely got those hints of green. It's actually a really cool color. It is really cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I haven't really seen a color like this like well yeah. like you said it does look like a gunmetal but when you get closer it definitely yeah, has green, a, I, that green pulls out yep i love it that's such a cool color especially with the stone wash man yeah we're excited excellent that's a good one yeah all right all right all righty then cool well we'll move on to uh our good friend ken Stegerwald. he's coming out with two different models for us on our 2022 preview uh, this first one here is Kith. Kith. Correct. You're saying that correctly. Kith. Yes, you're saying that correctly. So um, what Ken is known for is his traditional uh, pocket knives where he, he does a great job with either lockbacks or slip joints. He designed this front lock, which kind of blew your mind when I, I actually showed it to you. Okay, guys, this is serious. You need to pay attention to this part of the video because <laughs> This is really innovative, and I I personally feel like it's a big deal. Yeah. As far as a locked back, this is this is game changer for that. So uh, it's a front lock. So the um, the liners are actually the spring. 
So there is no spring on the, you know, the butt end of the knife. And so the idea is the ease of use where you're, you're working and you can take it back and you can just push right here with your thumb to close it. You don't have to yeah. go all the way to the, to the back end of the knife, right? Most of the time I would end up holding it, re-gripping the handle, pushing in, and then actuating the blade. Yep, exactly. And then if you're a lefty, no problem, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. Watch, I'm not even a lefty, but you are. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually not, but. He's not, guys, come on. So um, again, just a really, really cool, innovative design. Um, you know, it, it, it's like when you see a traditional folder, you don't think innovation. Right. Right. And then that's what we do at CRKT. We work with, you know, these designers like Ken Stegerwald and come out with concepts that, you know, change the game in the traditional, you know, um, I guess, field of knives or, oh, or silo of knives, right? Yeah, so. absolutely. This one and the next one we're going to talk about, you, you'll be able to see how these came from traditional knife roots. It, I Great think way it's to put really, it. Yeah, yeah, comes from traditional knife roots. Yeah. But man, dude, the front lock, just to be able to push that in with one hand. Yeah. And I then the texturing on here as well. Oh, we'll, right. We'll get some close ups on, on the texturing. Uh, this I pattern, thought it was I thought it was carbon fiber. The first time he handed it to me, I was like, oh, cool, carbon fiber. Yeah, but it's not. But it's not. <laughs> So uh, just a really cool texturing, great pattern. It almost kind of looks like a camo or a shredded carbon fiber. Right. Um, but yeah, it also has that kind of tacky feel to it, so it's not gonna slip out of your hands. Right. Um, first time we've ever done this this pattern pattern before, and so um, I think we're, you're gonna see this on some other models moving forward. Now I wanna explain, the best part about this is you get the look of carbon fiber, you get the texturing of either something milled or a texture G10, yeah. but because it's GFN, we're able to have this at a really low pro price point. Yes. Now prices, I'm not sure yet. We uh, always check the website for current pricing. So we're not gonna talk prices yet, but we can kind of say like, okay, yeah, under, under 50, over 100 type thing. Definitely under 50. Yeah, definitely under 50. I, I think it's so cool, man. You got the front lock, you got the totally textured, honestly, like turning it in the light. Guys, as a photographer, I pay attention to so many <laughs> details and it's those kind of details that I'm always trying to highlight in a photo and so maybe I'm like extra nerding out on it, but. Please keep it going, man. Right? I like it. Keep it going. No, it's a cool knife. I'm excited about the next one too. Yeah, so maybe you want to put your, your gentleman's folder away for the evening, right? Maybe you're not a gentleman. Right. That, that evening and you want to get your working knife going on. That's right. So Ken came out with the Kova, which is, I guess, kind of like the big brother or bigger cousin right. of, of the Kith. So um, this still has the front lock, on here as well. A little bit more beefier, robust tip. So, you know, yeah. okay, you're holding that thing. Dude. Definitely a, a working knife, um, really clean lines, just a, a really gorgeous traditional looking uh, folder, but has that innovation, um, you know, on the front lock. Man, you guys doing milling patterns on the scales? Oh, I'm glad you said that. Oh, I'm, oh. I'm my glad gosh. You said that. It, it gives it the look and feel of like top dollar, what you'd see in like a titanium, milled titanium. Dude, it it tricks me. It tricks <laughs> me every time I look at it, I'm like, oh dang. It's so cool, man. Yeah, so uh, just some really cool designs coming from Mr. Stagawalt. We have our, our Kith and our Koba, so looking forward to it. I love it. And just for size comparison for you guys, in the hams, I can still hold the kith pretty good. My pinky kind of rolls a little bit, but I've got hams, right? Yeah. yeah. But the Kova, I mean, you saw me gripping it. I, I saw you gripping it. It looks yeah, good on you, man. That's a knife to go to work with, dude. Ah, dude. The front lock is cool, guys. I'm not it's even, really cool. I'm not just doing this. Like, this is real talk. This front lock is cool, and uh, you guys, We'll just have to get one and try it. It's it's a game changer for that type of lock. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. For sure. All right, next we're gonna move on to uh, something we already have in the line right now, but we came out with a different colorway. 
And so this is going to be our squid assist. It has our new assisted opening mechanism, just entirely black stone wash. So the, we were, once when we came out with the, the first one, just the regular stone wash, we were getting DMs and hit up all the time. Like, you gotta have a black stone wash, you gotta have a black stone wash. Okay, we got a black stone wash. <laughs> Finally! We got a black stone wash. Yes, so um, Lucas Burnley design. Squid has has been around for, for years and years now, selling like crazy. Right. We came out with the assisted opening mechanism and you were loving okay, on, this, so on this mechanism. Obviously we go over the knives a little bit before we start, right? And as About he's- About two minutes before. Like <laughs> literally like two <laughs> minutes before we start. And uh, as Ryan was going down, like going through the list and I was playing with the knives, I love, I am, I'm not necessarily one to carry a squid with me. I have a few that I like to carry in my pocket all the time. And then I have knives like in my truck at home, like at my desk, you know, they're kind of scattered. But this, if you guys are looking for a one hand fidget knife, oh my gosh, the flipper, dude, the thumb studs, or look, this is one thing I started doing. Boom! Ah! Almost got it. Cut that out. No. Just this is a, a really cool one, man. It is. Dude, the fidget factor, flick it, pull it in. And, oh, and this. Yeah, the Where bias it, to close. Yep. The bias to close, yeah. I'm not gonna smash my finger in there. I'm not gonna cut, you know. It's a fidget knife. It's lively. I like it. Yeah. And stonewash black. Can't go Don't, wrong. <laughs> Guys, I know this isn't your typical video of CRKT, but I just want you guys to know that this stuff is legitimately cool. They're always trying to come up with new tech and they listen to you. They literally listen to the customers and then they return and deliver. That is the biggest thing to me for CRKT that is so appealing. Like they actually build this stuff as you guys want it. You know what I mean? So keep throwing them suggestions, you know? Well, so this is an amazing segue to the next model. You have not seen this. Kurt has not seen this model. Uh, I like to surprise Kurt every time I come, give him a right. little gift. One of these is yours. Really? Really? But on this next model, uh, I, I better get into it before I, before I get ahead of myself. Okay. All right, so this is a new minimalist okay. by Alan Foltz. And so the reason why that was a nice segue is because he listened to his community working with us to try to come out with a model that all of his uh, people in his, the minimalist user group wanted. He pitched to the team of all the, all the models that he has that um, is, he, he said, what is a model that I do not currently have that you would want to see? So he pitched to the team. They all came through hundreds and hundreds of comments. Right. One rose to the top and it was this one. So I'm just gonna go like this. Actually, I'll give this one to you. Okay. And we'll do it together. Yes, I'm so <laughs> excited. All right, so look at this thing. Oh my gosh, dude. So this is the minimalist Persian, and this is what the community wanted. And then what's actually ironic is that this is Alan's favorite model now. Are you of serious? All of them. Yeah, we had a conversation with him and he was like- Crap, he's know, been making, he's, dude, these have been around forever. Forever. And then now this is his EDC because it's so useful. It's a little bit uh, longer. It's about an That's inch. That's what I like about yeah, it. Yeah, it's about an yeah. inch overall. You get another inch. That's yep. cool. Yep, exactly. So um, just awesome. And the reason why I share this is because it, it goes with your ritual knife. That's I know. Why. Dude, yeah. I actually have pair, that on me right pair here. Pair as well. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Well, And that's Bam. also an Alan Foltz uh, design. Right? I know. Yeah. This was the one he wanted to do something big, yep. right? Yep. So Dude. that is... Uh, yeah. This thing's cool, man. It is super cool. I, the Persian style, I, I feel like... A lot of people don't understand it. With the Persian style, it gives you a big belly and extra blade length, like bite length to your blade. Plus with that thumb ramp and the jimping, dude, this, even though I have big fat hands, look at this. This is the best three finger, oh wait, four finger knife at what, one and a half, what is this, two it's, inches? It's Something about an like inch. that? Yeah, about an inch. it's about an inch, yeah. Love it. That's crazy, dude. So yeah, that's yours now. Thank you. Again, like to come with gifts. 
I appreciate it. It pairs that. well with your... It does. It I mean, pairs really well with the ritual, man. But I, here's here's the other thing. While we're... It's, I don't have a gift for Ryan today. <laughs> Maybe next time we get together. <laughs> but I am carrying my freaking para scale. You have... Look at this. Look at this thing. You got three in a row here, my friend. I know. Gosh, you're lucky. I'm just, every time you get her here, I'm like, I'm rocking all my CRKT stuff. I love it. Dude, the deadbolt, techno deadbolt technology, the front lock. You guys are always coming out with really cool, innovative stuff. Yep. That's what we do, Kurt. I know, man. Love it. Dude, oh. this thing's sick. God, it's so good. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one, guys. All right, and then wrapping up, we got our last knife to talk about. We have our Ken Onion Stylus, which is available right now on your website. But we had to talk about it because it's so good. This has the assisted opening mechanism. Um, what I... Hold on, there's an innovative part to this. There I'm is. not kidding, guys. Every time they come with something, they are bringing it to the next level. Like, I, I don't think you guys get enough hype for what you guys are doing. Hype us up. We gonna give them something they can remember. Yeah. You know, I, I am, I'm <laughs> hyping you up right now. What I'm saying is like, these guys are always doing next level. They're trying to push the, the whole knife community into a different direction. Always trying to make what you have better. Ex I, I love well, it. Very well put. And Ken Onion, you know, he that's what he does. Right. I mean, he's he's right. always thinking, always trying to make models that he has. Right. You know, at and at great price points. Right. So what is the innovation here, Kurt? Oh, I'm so excited. OK, you flick it open and then you look at the uh, calling it a back strap, back, or back spacer, back yeah. spacer, yeah. back spacer, back strap. It's got the uh, lanyard hole on it. But look, it is channeled out in the center. So you have more blade than the handle. And it's all within this, what? Not even a quarter inch, like an eighth of an inch. Holy crap. Also what I appreciate is um, adding this little flare here on the uh, the tab. So it's, see it has a hole there? Yeah. This is mostly done on Ken Onion's custom knives. And so he wants to add you know, little hints of his customs into his production models. Nice. Um, so, you know, maybe that's, yeah, that's not cool. something you would notice right I didn't out even of the notice gate. That. But it's just a, those little hints like that. And then once when you told me about the back strap, I was like, you did what? Like, <laughs> I mean, like I, I had been carrying this for a week and then we jump on a call with them and I was like, you know, tell me about your, you know, the ideas of the concept. Right. And he goes, oh, well that, you know about that, right? It's like, about what? He goes, you know, I extended the back strap. And I was like, has that ever been done? He's like, well, not till I did it. <laughs> Dude. I, one day I'm going to shake that man's hand. And it's going to be great. It's, yeah. He's, uh, he's innovative. He's awesome. He's always pushing the envelope. And this is just adds to, to his collection of just winners. So this is similar size to the CEO, but I love the aluminum scales mm -hmm. because it gives you that shine, shimmer. It's very, very attractive. Very knife. attractive. Very attractive knife for sure. Yeah, guys, deep carry pocket clip. Dude, guys, it. this stuff is awesome. Dude, the stylus is cool. Look, innovative. New design. New design. New colorway. Super fidgetable. New locks. Innovation. And look, and innovation then. and a first for a designer. I don't even need to tell you guys how cool CRKT is because they do it. They just don't get the appreciation for it. And so you guys need to start loving CRKT because I'm not, I'm not just saying this. I'm not just saying this. I mean it because Thank you, CRKT sir. is constantly bringing you next level stuff. And I love that. I love that about you guys. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate your time. Always fun coming here. Heck yeah, dude.
I can't uh, wait till the next one. Yeah, so now we're hitting those uh, go-karts. Yeah, we're talking oh about? yeah, we gotta go get on those go-karts. <laughs> we're gonna go ride some go-karts, guys. Thanks for being here. Ryan, thank you for being here. Great products, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, jump over to bladehq.com to purchase these and other awesome knives, and check out the playlist down below. See you later.